Now we have to see a question on induction machines. This is a previous gate question. I am reading it out. The power input to a 500 volt 50 hertz 6 pole 3 phase induction motor running at 975 rpm is 40 kilowatt. The total stator losses are 1 kilowatt. If the total friction and windage losses are 2.025 kilowatt, then efficiency is. It is given 6 pole. Six pole, fifty hertz motor. So, synchronous speed is one twenty F by P. That is equal to one twenty into F is fifty by six. That is thousand RPM. It is mentioned motor is running at 975 rpm. N is 975 rpm. For this input, for that particular input. So, let us calculate slip. Slip is Ns minus N by Ns that is 1000 minus 975 by 1000 that is 0 0.025. This is the operating slip of induction motor taking an input. 40 kilowatt that's the state right now you should know the basic power stage of induction motor to solve this question It is mentioned 40 kilowatt is input to stator. Stator input. Stator output. And you know stator output is equal to roto input also called as air gap power because air gap do not contain any losses. When flux generally the output of stator is basically RMF rotating magnetic field. The power from stator to roto is transferring through magnetic field. In a transformer from primary to secondary magnetic field transfers through core. In the core, there will be eddy currents. In the core, there will be hysteresis. But in the air gap, there is no eddy current, there is no hysteresis. In the air, no chance of current circulating, no chance, you know that. And in the air, no retentivity property, no hysteresis property. If you leave the magnet in the air for one day, if you remove the magnet in the air, nothing will be there. But in a steel, it is not like that. If you take your screwdriver tip, the screwdriver tip is in a position to attract the screws. It has some retentivity property. What I want to convey is in the cores which are made up of steel like ferromagnetic materials, they contain hysteresis, they contain eddy current issues. But now the magnetic field is passing from stator to rotor in air gap. Air gap do not contain such losses. The problem is high reluctance it will produce due to that high reluctance it is offering high magnetizing current is required that is a separate story no losses stator output is exactly equal to rotor input called as air gap power rotor output is 
you know you know there will be rotor copper loss in the rotor rotor core loss is neglected because rotor frequency is sf and you know iron losses are almost proportional to square of the frequency eddy current square hsrs is 1.6 f power 1.6 that's why we generally ignore iron losses happening in the rotor therefore we have to take only copper loss rotor copper loss after that here all the power output of the rotor cannot be taken as shaft output cannot be taken as motor output or cannot be taken as shaft output no some power will be lost in overcoming rotational losses basically mechanical loss that loss where it is consuming that the power the rotor output is not exactly shaft output because the power across the rotor as output will be lost in overcoming the sound what you listen when the motor is running when the motor is running air offers friction to the rotor surface rotor peripheral bearings offer some friction bearings will make some noise so these particular mechanical losses will be there called friction and windage some power will be lost in overcoming these losses remaining power will be taken as ultimate output of the motor or shaft output that's it so this is the power stage and you know one more thing that is rotor copper loss is slip times rotor power input in power stage concepts we will see this equation rotor copper loss is slip times rotor power input means whatever power is coming on to the rotor slip times that power will be lost in the rotor remaining 1 minus s times is called rotor output means 1 minus s times rotor input is rotor output s times is lost in the rotor as rotor copper loss let us solve the question now it is clearly mentioned input is 40 kilowatt and the stator losses are 1 kilowatt total stator losses means stator core plus mechanical so remove 1 kilowatt from this so state output is Forty minus one kilowatt. Now state output is thirty nine kilowatt. Rotor input is thirty nine kilowatt. Then, what is the copper loss? Slip times rotor power input.
another way i want to show you this is one way rotor input calculate what is rotor copper loss in some questions they will be asking what is rotor copper loss directly you can put slip times rotor input is rotor copper loss that's one thing now you know rotor input you know rotor copper loss so rotor input minus rotor copper loss is rotor output that's one way another way is directly as we have seen some input is going on to the rotor slip times is lost in the rotor remaining 1 minus s times is coming out that you can use rotor output is 1 minus s times rotor input same answer you will get prefer anything according to the question easiness now it is given clearly friction and windage losses are 2.025 watts kilowatts then Finally, that is the ultimate output of the motor. So, what you are asked is efficiency. Efficiency is percentage means into 100. That is 36 by 40. So, calculation of rotor output, you can follow this method also, directly you can make rotor input is 39 into 1 minus 0 0.025, that is equal to 38.025 watts. So, 40 kilowatt is supplied, stata output is equal to rotor input combination is called as air gap power air gap power what is the value means you can directly take 39 kilowatt 39 kilowatt is going on to the rotor 975 watts is lost how much is lost 975 watts is lost and then the rotor output is 38.025 38.025 kilowatts and it is mentioned in the question mechanical losses are 2.025 kilowatt so after removing this 2.025 psh ultimate output of the motor is 36 kilowatt So, finally, the efficiency is 36 by 40 output by input into 100. Hope you understood the detailed power stage of induction motor through this question. That is my context. I want to explain you all the power stage through this question. Thank you.